Hey guys, we're in San Francisco, me and Dan. Hi! It's cold! And it's cold. freezing, it's freezing. Woo. We're still not used to this because we've been living in uh, San, San Jose. Jose. It was like 100 it's yesterday. It's warm and nice and this is like freezing. It's drizzling, which I like. But we are in, uh, where are we? Oh man, What's this area? somewhere in San Francisco. Uh, we're near the beach. We're scouting out a couple of food locations for a potential video shoot, so we gotta go eat two meals, two. try out two places. I'm prepared, because I'm starving. The first place, Shandong Best. It says uh, Shandong Shui Jiao Lamin, so dumplings and hand pulled noodles. We're gonna see if this place is any good. All right, so this is what we typically do before a video. We go in and we try it out, make sure it's really good. Um, so this place, we're trying to be incognito, but right now, obviously, they see us holding the camera, so. Little giveaway, but we ordered a bunch of stuff. Yeah. So, always the waiter's like, why'd you order so much? Because we got to try all sorts exactly. of dishes to make sure it's good, otherwise, we're not gonna recommend it. Exactly. Um, so today, we ordered two different types of noodles, three different types of noodles, actually. Yes. We got a liangpi, which is a Chinese specialty that, here. That, that one, that one, that's, that's, that's a wheat, wheat noodle. Yeah. That's a wheat noodle. Then we got the two regular types of noodles, different kinds. Mm -hmm. Their lamb noodle here is supposed to be really good. So got the lamb. We don't like lamb, but that's what we gotta do. Let's that try that. Good, yeah, so we got some lamb skewers. <laughs> A bunch of lamb, but that's what this place is known for. So not your favorite thing, but but you like it. I like it. I'm good. I'm good. So that's what we're gonna recommend. Hopefully it comes out and it tastes good. This is the lamb skewers. This is one of my favorite dishes back when I was in Xi'an, China. Usually you get these on metal skewers, but uh, today they put them on bamboo skewers. What I like about them is they're not put on like long toothpicks, which is usually what you'll find in New York City. These are actually look like. Yeah. Like actual, I mean, it looks like they carved the, the long popsicle stick into like a skewer, but and the size of the meat is actually really big. Mm. Oh, really juicy! Really juicy. Mm. Mm. It's a little sweet. Yeah, that's what I like about it. Regular skewer. That's what I like about it. You like it? No, I don't like it to be sweet. I want it to be spicy and mm -hmm. cumin. And also, dude, mm -hmm. I think they marinated the lamb in a sweet yeah. soy sauce, yeah. which normally you don't like. Don't you do don't, that. That's not what you do. It's just Usually, straight up straight lamb, salt, cumin, salt, pepper, salt, cumin, spices, yeah, chili pepper. So, you got so I like it because I'm I'm from the south, so yeah. I like that kind of hint of sweetness. But I don't think it's a little teriyaki. Yeah, it's like teriyaki. I'm not really. This is not authentic for me. Thing. No, authentic for me. This is one of my favorite dishes of all time. Lamb pea cold skim, usually made with uh, wheat flour. This one in particular, covered in peanuts, cucumber, um, bean sprout. That's pretty typical. Sesame sauce, um, some hot oil, which is definitely not enough. Gonna have to add more hot oil. Um, mix it up before you eat it. This is one of the most identifiable dishes to know whether a place is good or not, if they can make this dish well. This is so popular, such a popular northern dish. If they can do this well, then they sold me on this place. Hot oil is going on. Need some more, need some more. Need some more. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I can't get enough of that. What do you think? I think it needs some more vinegar. Yeah, add the vinegar, add the black vinegar. Wait, wait, I think once you add the vinegar, because with this dish, you need something that's acidic yeah. and sour. Otherwise, it's just basically eating sesame noodles. I mean, right? So you need that to balance the... But it's good, I like the texture. The texture is really good, actually. It's definitely better than the Xi'an oh. famous food stuff. Oh. In New York, 100% better. Oh my gosh. This is the lamb buns, or what people like to call the Chinese burger. Another very famous dish up north. There's a couple characteristics to look for. One is the bun hard and crispy on the outside, which is not. It's mm. kind of uh, fluffy and soft, which is not a good sign. The inside is more ground meat, anything, but it should be like slices of meat. Um, has uh, cilantro. Okay, let's give this a taste test here. Yeah. This dish, particular dish, one of the main characteristics is it's really spicy. It's very cumin-y, very spicy. This is not. It just tastes like ground, ground, uh, ground lamb. And the bun is like chewy. The bun not is too crunchy. Yeah. It should be crunchy on the outside. Would not recommend that dish. The name of this place is Noodles and Dumplings. So we had to get dumplings. Right. All right. Before you eat dumplings, you gotta make dumpling sauce. Yes. Um, do they have little saucers? They have little saucers. Dumpling sauce consists of mainly vinegar. Some people just need vinegar. And that's it. Add a little soy in there. And definitely a lot of hot oil.
and this is really cool. They have this garlic spicy sauce here. Whoa. I love garlic on my dumplings. Whoa. Love it. That's very interesting. Dumplings are really good. I don't usually um, have that much sauce in my dumplings if they're done well because I feel like it's enough. Mm, they're really good. Oh, dumplings are good. Sauce actually is really awesome. Very garlicky, very spicy. Oh, they're, they're hot oils. are really spicy. Yeah. Third version of the dandan dan noodles. They have a couple different types of noodles. One is uh, the thin noodles, which we got with the dandan dan style. It's different than what we had before. First of all, this is the most amount of meat I've ever seen in a dandan dan yeah. dan noodle. Thank you. It's, it's just like so much ground meat. Mm -hmm. This is a lot. Wow. This. Finally, this is our last dish. A big plate of lamb noodles. This is way different than what I thought this was gonna look like. I thought it was gonna look like lamb noodle soup. But this is like, um, looks like steamed noodles or boiled noodles with stir-fried vegetables and lamb on top. You know what this tastes like? Tomato. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, yeah. Here's the thing. It doesn't taste bad. It's good. No, yeah. I feel like you should call this that dish. Mm. Why don't you just call it um, like minced meat noodles yeah. with a uh, spicy tomato sauce? Dun Dun noodles. Characteristic is it's nummy, nummy citron pepper. <clears throat> this is like so it's garlic pepper. pepper. Yeah, and Dun Dun noodles like the sauce. It's a little sweet. Yeah, it's definitely salt. Right. Savory sauce. A lot of soy sauce in there. This yeah. is like tomato sauce. This is basically, it's like tomato sauce. Yeah. It's kind of sour. So I wouldn't, this is not something I love. Well, I feel like this is more, this and the dana noodles are more geared towards a western taste bud. Yeah, for sure. Because um, I don't care about that much color in my noodles. Right. So I just care that it tastes good. Yeah. So, I mean, the noodles, the noodles quality. itself are really good. The yeah. ample noodles itself are really good. Yeah, I give them that. Yeah. But I'm not really used to noodles and a bunch of stir fried stuff on right. top of the noodles. You right. know what I'm saying? It's either a noodle soup yeah. or like a uh, stir fried, like the whole thing. Right. No, I get you. I get you. Not I feel the same way. Top. I feel the same way. It's kind of weird for me. Yeah. I feel like the dumplings are really good. And uh, the dumplings are really, really good. good. I think so, they got their noodle technique down. Yeah, the noodle itself is fantastic. Right. We tried to be incognito in the last place. We got found out. Yeah. So the owners came out. out. <laughs> owners came out. Talked to us. Uh, but we're gonna do a video there because yeah. that is a really legit place. You know, a really, really touching story too. She's like, yeah. she gets up every day at three. She cooks every dish herself. Yeah. She's like, I don't trust anybody else doing it. You know what? At the end of the day, food's not about making money. You know, it's about comfort. It's about being good and making good food. That's it. That's what it's all about. It so. gives you the feels. Yeah. Okay. It yeah. gets you right here. Exactly. Now we're gonna go try our second location down the street. Luckily, they're really close to each other. Yeah. We're at our second location, Jiangnan Wei Dao, Taste of Jiangnan. Jiangnan is like south of the river. The interior is kind of nice, right? The interior is very like a like a shuto. Yeah, this is all that's Qing Dynasty yeah. fashion right there. This Yo, interior is really pretty. This is this reminds me of a, this table. a lot of restaurants like back in back back, back in the day. I, back in the day where they put the pictures yeah. on the table. I like that. It's nice. Let's cut open the egg. I like that the egg white has changed color. That means the flavor has soaked in a yeah. bit more. This is the number one recommended dish on their menu. So looking forward to trying it. These are the steamed eggs. They say there's a salty egg yolk on top mm -hmm. and then kind of uh, just regular steamed egg whites on the bottom. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. I like that. I really like that. I mean, mm. I, I'm a huge fan of tofu. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of uh, steamed egg, right? I used to eat it when you were little. Yeah. And I like the koga, which is the texture. Yeah. Um, this is the crispy rice yeah. with salted egg yolk. It's, it's like Rice Krispies, stir fried Rice Krispies. Yeah. Good. Here, here's my question. Mm. Right. I really, like Shanghainese places, they always fry rice crackers, right? Yeah. It's like one of their things. The rice cracker is good, but here's the thing. I've had it naked like this. Yeah. I prefer it when there's a sizzling sauce on top. Of it. Oh. Done with meal number two within the same hour. Oh my gosh. Here's how I'm feeling. I'm not feeling that place very much. Yeah. Because we want to recommend places that we want you to be able to like travel to. Yeah. Destination spots. Yeah, and be worth it. Yeah. I don't feel like, I mean, if I took you guys all the way from San Jose to here to eat that, you guys wouldn't be really happy with me. The food is not bad. No, the food is good. You could find equal or better restaurants in your area. I feel like the pork belly is one of the best I've ever had. But just that one dish no, is gonna, no, it's gonna make you travel no, no. like 20 miles to yeah. come here. 
Yeah. We are at, what's this place called? Beach Chalet. Beach Chalet. And look at this, is like this, this is insane. Go to place for to catch all sorts of crazy Pokemon. Look at this place. There is hundreds of people. There's like literally 300 or so people. And there's a beach, beach police, whatever, uncles, aunties, all, all sorts of people. <laughs> and I gotta say, I think it's mainly Asians here. I think it's mainly Asians. Mainly Asians here. <laughs> I mean, we well, well, got some good creatures over here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's some really good. duck guy, there's some fat side, pink guy. It's like a guy that looks like he'd be really tasty if you roast him over a fire. Slow poke. Slow poke, yeah, whatever. It's like a magnet, it's like a school supply store here. So, we're gonna stay here and catch. Uh, we're not gonna stay too long. Yesterday, last time, yesterday we stayed too long. Yeah. This time we're just gonna stay for a little bit and try to catch some stuff and get out of here. You guys hear that? Supposedly some really rare Pokemon called Blast Toll something showed up and everyone's like really excited. This is, I've never seen, I mean this is like Christmas for Asians right now. This is like, oh, everyone's so happy. Everybody is so happy right now. Give it to me! Give it to me! Wow. Good job, good job, good job. Let's get the reaction and the dismay. Did you guys get it? You found them? Okay, good, good job. All right. Anybody not catch him? Uh, everyone's, everyone's trying to catch him right now. The frustration is mounting for those who cannot get it yet. Yeah, everybody, uh, oh my god, everybody is trying. Everybody trying, everybody, you gonna get it? Yeah, no? Oh, uh, uh, no. Wow, look at this, never seen a bunch of people so intense before in my life. I wonder if anyone's gonna cry if they don't get it. Did you guys get it? No. You didn't get it? Oh my god. Like some s oh no. Man, I feel so bad. Yeah, you guys got it? You guys all happy? Christmas came early this year. Everybody let him go. Everybody run out of Pokeballs. Everybody's phone died. Well, that was intense. Some people caught him, some people did not. Well, we both caught him. Yeah. And some people didn't. And literally, I saw this one kid throw like almost 100 balls and they ran away. 100? Oh, he's literally, and his friend tried to get it. He was like, I can't get him. His friend tried to get it. And then at the end, he ran away and the kid was like distraught. I was like, wow. Well, that was an experience, so <laughs> we're done. <laughs> That was kind of fun seeing everyone's how they reacted when a, when a major Pokemon showed up. Is that a major Pokemon? That was a major, major. Is that really rare? He's really, really rare. Really? He's okay. Really rare. He's so he's super rare. So it, and and you know what? That's like basically the high, that's the height of the day. Anything else today won't beat that. This is intense. People are really you know there's a lot of passion. I can't believe it. a lot of feeling, a lot of heart into this I can't game. Can't believe that man. So we're gonna go to IKEA now.